guys? How you doing? My name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Question, is there anything better than double dipped southern fried chicken? Answer, I think not. This is a maiden voyage of the master built 20 quart seven in one air fryer. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Right, everybody my name is Tommy and this is the gallery backyard barbecue and look it doesn't get much better than this double dipped southern fried chicken is on the menu today and look hit that subscribe button ring that bell because you're gonna want to get notified every time I do a, a future upload look I've got some uh, chicken marinating in buttermilk for approximately 18 hours I got thighs and legs, that's it, that's all I want. I got four pieces, because this is just for me and Molly. Now, after you marinate that uh, for, like I said, eh, you know, 12, 18 hours, take it out, put it in a little sifter, just any loose liquid can uh, fall off. Get yourself a cup of flour, a half a cup of cornstarch, and try not to make a mess like I do. And look, I got uh, a couple tablespoons of uh, salt, some pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some smoked paprika. I'll leave the exact numbers down below. You're going to want to mix it all together because you're going to want to season that flour. And like I said, get that excess liquid off. And basically just get them in the flour and again try not to make a mess like I seem to always do. Yeah. And that's just a little house cleaning on that uh, skin right there. Then get yourself a couple eggs. I'm using two. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of the water so we can loosen it up a little bit. Mix it up and again we are double dipping. want to uh, bang off that excess flour you don't want any lumps right so you just kind of want to kind of anything that falls off it when you smack it down is uh, good to go now look I got my master bill cruising along at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and of course I got it uh, on the air fryer setting go two baskets two chickens per basket and I'm looking at letting this go for approximately 20 minutes before I check it oh, yeah. oh, man. and I can tell you one thing that the uh, master build heats up to a uh, temp pretty fast and when she gets there she must have a, a thermostat in because she shuts down As the uh, temp dips below your setting, she pops back up. Now look, I'm gonna go with some hickory chips. I'm gonna give them a uh, good head start. There's been a lot of talk about these chips. I could tell you, although I didn't get much smoke flavor in the chicken, I definitely got smoke in the, uh, in the master built air fryer. And it pretty much smoked the whole cook. I'm thinking maybe uh, something uh, different. If you were cooking something different, you'd get more of a uh, smoky flavor. Some more testing still yet to come. 
And now look, I'm gonna take a half a stick of butter cause we're gonna whip up some cheddar biscuits. And we're gonna go with about a cup of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder. And I'm gonna go about a half a cup of butter milk. And a couple little uh, sprinkles of that uh, extra sharp cheddar cheese, of course. This is a uh, basic uh, biscuit recipe, cheddar biscuit recipe. I'm gonna go with a little Uncle Steve Shakes cow powder. You could go salt, pepper, you could put a little heat in there if you'd like. Uh, it's all up to you. Give that a, a little mix. Now look, an easy way to play with a, uh, a moister uh, flour is to uh, use two spoons, right? Just use two spoons, kind of just kind of work it right there. That way you don't have to touch it. It doesn't get all over your hands. This, this is a, uh, a little restaurant trick for you, a little pro tip. Just kind of worked out like, a, uh, like it's ice cream. All right, so look, we are 20 minutes in. I'm gonna hit it with a little of this uh, duck fat. can tell you that I should have taken the uh, chicken out and maybe turned it and hit it a little bit better with the uh, duck fat, but hey, we live and learn. And also I have jacked up my temperature to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We're like I said, about 20, 22 minutes in. I'm figuring about 10 minutes or so on these uh, cheddar biscuits so we'll get those on the uh, tin there and we'll get them on the uh, pit oh man I could see doing some uh, corn muffins with this putting some corn in there man you could do so much and you could see that chicken is starting to brown up nicely And the uh, baskets do have a little bit to uh, get used to. And also you definitely want uh, covered hands on both hands because it is quite hot in there. And you can see we still got some uh, smoke going. Alrighty, look, we are about 35 to 40 minutes in, and I'd say these uh, biscuits are uh, pretty done. And we'll get a, a temp reading on that chicken. And that chicken is looking pretty good. So we're gonna get that chicken off, and we're gonna get that on the board. We got a Pretty decent browning there. I would have went 425 the whole way. I started it at 400, probably lost about 10 minutes. So I'm guessing it'd be a little bit more browner than, uh, than I had gotten. Also, if I hit it with that uh, duck spray a little bit uh, everywhere, a little bit better, it probably would have browned out a little bit better. But again, I was quite happy with these results. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And you see, I put a little spray on the uh, chicken, a little spray of butter to try to get rid of some of that white. You see, we got a little bit of sticking. We're gonna have to figure that out. And uh, look, at this time, what I wanna do before we take it in live, remind you to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, man. We are gonna have one kick-ass winter. So I want you a part of that. And look, at this time, I wanna recognize my Patreon members that are running up on the uh, board and you could see we still got some smoke in that smoke box and look this was a fun cook i appreciate you all for coming along on this journey Just all right look by. that's it for this one i jumped the uh, temp up about 10 15 minutes in to 425 degrees fahrenheit total cook time on this was about 35 maybe 40 minutes or so i'm sure if i started it at that higher temp would have took it to 30 minutes. Smoke box, as you could see, it's still smoking. I don't know if it added flavor to the chicken yet because I haven't tasted it, but it certainly did put smoke in the uh, 
in the uh, master bill. A couple lessons that I learned for first cook is that halfway through you got to remove the chicken and spray it down. Also, the uh, there was some sticking in the um, the baskets. I have to figure that out. I did spray them with Pam, but obviously not good enough. Now, although I haven't tasted it yet, I was very impressed with what the uh, what the master bill did on this cook. It browned everything fairly good. It cooked my uh, cheddar biscuits perfectly, and I'm um, looking forward to this taste test. Of course, we got to uh, get some butter on those uh, biscuits. Now, I did take a couple uh, thumbs so everything is cooled down a little bit, but uh, first up is the uh, cheddar biscuits. Recipe down below. All right, look, cheddar biscuits, perfect. Take another bite of my biscuit first. Mm. So look, I'm gonna jump right in. You can see, uh, oh man. I would've liked maybe a little bit more browning, but uh, definitely for the first shot, I think yeah. that's pretty good. Oh man. I'm juicy, juicy, oh man. Oh. Definitely juicy. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, juicy as juicy can be. This is a nice piece right here. And uh, of course, cheers. And look at one say, man, that was good. Uh, could have been a little bit more crispy on the skin. I'd put that on myself other than the uh, master built. I didn't think the master built did exactly what it was supposed to do. And this is a one juicy and one flavorful southern double dipped fried chicken, that's for sure. Oh, wow. All right, look, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. Man, I'm going to have a lot of fun stuff coming up with this master built, with that master built, with the pit boss, with the Weber. It's going to be a good time this winter, so it's a great time to hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified on all my future uploads. I'm going to drop, drop a couple, couple more master built, not air fryer videos over here. You check those out. I'll see you there, and I'll see you soon.